Hello, my name is Erin Weimert, and I am here today with the third installment of our chakra series. If you haven't yet, you might want to check up on root chakra and sacral chakra, the first two parts of this series before starting this video, or if you just want to get into it, no problem. Uh, we're going to be discussing the point of energy a couple inches above the navel, our solar plexus. So if you feel right here, there's a lot of nerve endings. It's a really sensitive spot. This point of energy in our body is associated with our sense of power, confidence, self-esteem. It's from the solar plexus that we um, take action, we're assertive, um, and we own who we are. We own ourselves as um, unique, autonomous individual beings. We take responsibility for ourselves. We're not making excuses uh, for who we are. We're not apologizing for who we are. We're really stepping into our power um, and just owning who we are. So we're going to be connecting to this point of energy in our body by way of a yoga practice. Also, we're going to do a couple different types of pranayama practices, breath work, and kriya work as well. So a lot of times people think navel chakra, oh, we're going to do core work, we're going to do twisting. We will do some of that, but we're also going to focus on this idea of just building heat in the body, building and stoking our digestive fire. Fire is the element associated with this chakra. And when we stoke our digestive fire, we can burn up our fear, our doubts, our insecurities, our excuses, why we're not stepping into our fullest selves, um, just burning up old ideas, thought patterns, belief systems that no longer serve us, that are keeping us stuck, that are keeping us small. So that's where we're headed today. We're going to start this practice with two sets of kriyas. And kriyas essentially are just rapid movements. We're going to use the arms today to build heat. All right. So for our first Kriya, we're going to start by stretching the arms out, spreading the fingers wide. As you exhale, we'll make fists and just pull them in. It's real simple. We'll do it with the eyes closed, and then they'll gradually get faster and faster, in and out of the nose. Big breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it in. Relax the shoulders. Rest the hands on the thighs. Just feel the heat rising through the torso into the chest and the head. Fiery energy. Digesting anything that's not serving us. Anything that's in the way of us stepping in fully to who we are. And gently open the eyes. For our second Kriya, we'll start by reaching the arms up, and then we'll make fists and pull it down. Okay? Inhale, close the eyes. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Release the hands on the thighs. Feel the heat through the whole torso, just the front, the sides, the back, rising up into the front and the back of the heart, into the neck and the head. And then place your palms on top of your solar plexus. Remain connected to your breath. 
And with every exhale, repeat to yourself mentally or out loud the mantra RAM, R-A-M. RAM is the vibrational sound connected to this particular chakra. As you exhale and repeat this mantra to yourself, feel this point of energy, this fiery orb of light become bigger and brighter. Feel it vibrate beneath the hands. Just imagine how your life could shift, how it would change if you stepped fully into who you were without apologizing, without making excuses, moving through your life with certainty, confidence, and strength. How could things shift? What could you achieve? And just keep that vision in mind as we move today. And open the eyes. We'll make our way into a tabletop. Spread the fingers wide. Knees under the hips. Let's find a big breath in. Come into your cow pose. Lengthen and widen the front of the body. Exhale, pull the solar plexus in. Think about pulling in your power cat pose. Let's do it again. Inhale, breath. Stretch and widen the solar plexus. And exhale, pull it in. So continue like this. And notice how when you actually backbend and you stretch the solar plexus, that's a way of actually cooling off the navel chakra. And we want to create a sense of power and heat and fire today, but we don't want it to become so overpowering that we go into a sense of controlling, arrogance, bossy. It is possible to have too much heat and too much fire in the body. So we want to create a balanced sense of heat, a balanced sense of power. Let's do one more like that. Let's come back into a long spine. Tuck the toes. Hover your shins just a couple inches above the earth. And then notice this first kind of big physical challenge. Can you move into it with a sense of confidence, a sense of certainty, with a healthy navel chakra, we can move towards challenges with um, just feeling confidence and sure of ourselves rather than cowering away from them. Let's take another inhale. Step back to plank as you exhale. So already starting to feel a little bit of heat. Stick with it. Feel that your power center is not falling out of the body. Rather, it's pulling in. It's like you're claiming your power. You're owning your power. Take another big breath. Exhale, pull the navel in. Stretch the hips up. Reach the thighs back. Downward facing dog. And feel free to move around a little bit. Just find some intuitive movement. Get out the initial kinks. Hmm. And even here, notice if the solar plexus is falling out of the body, ribs are falling out of the body, claim your power center, pull it back in, and then just relax the back of the neck, relax your gaze, take a big breath in, and exhale out. Let's go ahead and make your way forward into high push-up and lower all the way down to the ground. You can use your knees if you need for this first one. Untuck the toes. And if you need, you can always walk the palms forward a little bit. Let's come up into cobra. Low, medium, or high, big breath. And exhale, lengthen to lower. Let's do it again. Full, big inhale, shoulder blades draw down, biceps hug in, and exhale to lower. One more, rise up and feel that difference of moving with certainty 
and moving with a little bit of doubt. So even if you wobble today, stick with that sense of just being sure and certain of who you are at the core of your being. Let's tuck the toes, lift the knees, big breath. Exhale, press to high plank and pause. Float your right toes off the ground, three-legged plank, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, tuck and round. Keep shoulders over wrists, three-legged plank, inhale, chin off the chest. Exhale, knee to nose. One more like that, inhale, lengthen crown forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Now keep the knee bent, down dog, twist, lift the hips, turn your right knee skyward, and take a big step between the thumbs, and drop the left knee down. And on your inhale, stretch the arms towards the sky, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, find your vertical twist to the right. Now, if you're modifying for any reason, if you're doing yoga for two today, you might stay here. Otherwise, inhale, reach the left arm forward, and exhale, find your twist. Palms touch. So we are connected to the root chakra, steady foundation, foot and knee are hugging together. We have that little release in the pelvis, Groins are soft, second chakra in check. And then third chakra, we're pulling the navel in, twisting the belly button to the right. Take a big breath in, exhale, untwist. Hands to the ground, let's straighten both of the legs. Pyramid pose. And if you wanna utilize your block or blocks here, you're welcome to. Let's feel the right hip crease draw up and back. Outer left hip wraps forward. And then notice if you're rounding and hunching in the spine, see if you can lengthen. Think about how you want to present yourself in the world. You don't want to cower and become small. You want to um, express yourself with a sense of openness and certainty. Let's find one more breath in and out. And inhale forward to your lunge, lift the chest. As you exhale, step lightly top of your mat, forward fold. On your inhale, find some length. Begin lifting the chest with a sense of confidence. And exhale, fold down to the ground. Inhale all the way up towards the sky, reach up. And as you exhale, bend the knees, airplane the arms back and just round the spine. <sighs> inhale, reach. Exhale, belly to thighs. Let's do it again. Just a few more with your breath. Let's think about moving out old, stagnant, stale energy, old ways of being and thinking, behaving, showing up. One more, just shake it off. Forceful exhale. Inhale up, reach, and fold down to the ground. On your inhale, find some length halfway. Step your left toes back, spin the heel flat, warrior two, and open up. All right. So connecting to first chakra, steady base, sturdy base. Connecting to second chakra, there's some fluidity and ease in the hips. We're letting them move forward. And then third chakra, pulling the navel in. There's lots of ways we could cue this. Anchor the tailbone, close the sit bones, pull the pubic bone up. Again, bring your awareness back to the solar plexus. And with every exhalation, feel that fire inside just roar, that inner fire. Let's take one more breath in and stay for the breath out. Inhale, your right leg lengthens. Turn your left toes up slightly. Reach forward, draw that right hip crease back and then pivot your arms to 12 and six. Again, if you feel a little wobbly, come back to the root. Come back to your foundation. Again, it's without a strong, steady foundation, without connection to root chakra, we can't rise up into the other chakras. Feel that the ribs aren't popping out. You can think about claiming your power, draw back in, and then stretch your left arm forward, palm faces down. And you're welcome to stay here, 
Or maybe turn on the core and obliques a little more, reach the right arm forward, lengthen the right side body, stamp down through your feet, reverse warrior, take your time, bend into the front knee, draw the low belly in, reach the right arm up, take a big breath, and as you exhale, hands to the ground, pop your back heel up, and let's step to plank. Spread the fingers wide. Again, think of your hands now as your feet, your connection to earth. Float your left leg up. Take a big breath in. Let's go knee to chest. Exhale, pull solar plexus in. Three-legged plank. Inhale, chin off the chest. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. Once more like that. Inhale. And exhale, keep the knee bent. Down dog twist, turn the knee skyward, big breath in. Exhale, take a very light step between the thumbs and drop the right knee down. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, vertical twist to the left, right arm forward. You can stay here or inhale, reach the right arm forward. And as you exhale, find your twist, you can bring the palms together. You can feel the left heel and the right knee hug in. Feel that release in your groins and your pelvis back. Pull the low belly in as you twist open, big breath. Exhale, untwist, hands to the earth or blocks. Straighten your front leg and your back leg. So again, come back to this notion of how your body language affects how you feel. Instead of getting small and rounding, you might even back out, use support, so that your body language reflects a sense of being openness, being available, being sure and certain of who you are. You're really showing yourself to the world. Let's take another breath in and exhale out. Rebend the knee, inhale. As you exhale, step top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, extend the chest, halfway lift. And exhale, fold and bow into yourself. Inhale all the way up, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, stretch the arms back and round. Forceful exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, just shaking it off. <sighs> <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Inhale, reach. And fold forward. Just thinking about what you're ready to get rid of. What's getting in the way of you really stepping into your full potential. Inhale, find some length. Exhale your right toes, step back. Spin your right heel down, warrior two. All right. Lengthen your stance so that you can commit to both feet equally. So working in order of the chakras makes sense energetically. It also makes sense anatomically. Focusing on the feet and the legs first then drawing your awareness to the pelvis, then drawing awareness to the abdomen and the rib cage. Let's take one more breath cycle. Inhale, your left leg lengthens. Turn your right toes up slightly. Reach forward, draw the left hip crease back, and pivot your arms to 12 and 6. Feel that your left arm, it's not a passive base, it's an active one. Left shoulder blade is drawing down to the left hip. And feel that you're not collapsing into your left side body, you're lengthening. So even your sides are, are part of that band, that solar plexus band. Stretch the right arm forward, palm faces down. 
You can stay here or maybe turn on the obliques a little more, reach your left arm forward, stamp down through both feet, lengthen the chest to the chin, reverse warrior, take your time for a smooth transition. As the left arm reaches up, draw the left shoulder blade down in opposition. Let's take a big, big breath here. Exhale, hands to the earth, and step back to high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Let's go half or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, maybe knees and thighs lift. Little stretch and release for the solar plexus. Exhale, pull the navel in, downward facing dog, stretch back. Let's find a couple breaths here. We're going to move a little bit. Again, just to sort of create some more heat. Think about what you're ready to move out, what you're ready to digest and get rid of. Let's float right leg up, inhale. Exhale, big step through, left knee down. Inhale, stretch the arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, extend the chest. Exhale, fold, maybe grab the calves, bow into yourself. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, stand tall. Release the arms, stretch up, inhale. Exhale, dive down to the ground, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, right toes back, right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach. Exhale, Chaturanga, or you can ditch them at any point. Take a big, big breath in and exhale out. Left leg inhales up. Exhale, big step through, right knee down. Inhale, reach Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend the chest halfway. Exhale, fold, pull the navel in. Reach all the way up, inhale, extend, arms high, hands to heart, exhale, lengthen through the crown. Inhale, reach all the way up, maybe arch the upper spine, exhale, fold to the ground, Uttanasana. Inhale, extend the chest, shoulders out of the ears, exhale, left toes back, left knee down. Inhale, open up, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, or not. And just pause here for a moment. Notice the effect of heat of movement. Notice how that shifts things for you emotionally, mentally, energetically. So with a healthy solar plexus, we can start to engage in what you might call healthy risk taking. So let's try it out. Bring your feet together, lift your heels up, bend the knees, pull the hips way back, take a peek where you're going and you can either jump or if you need, you can walk. But again, that healthy risk taking, just getting outside of our comfort zone. Inhale at the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, left toes, step back. All right, so stretch your right arm to the sky. Open for a twist. If you need a block under the left hand, you surely can grab one. So strong base, feet and legs feel solid. There's give and fluidity in the pelvis. Let the left side of the pelvis spin down. Squeeze the inner thighs and then dig through your right heel and rise up to your twisted lunge. All right, so feel that the thighs aren't knocking in. They're still neutral. The twist happens from the low ribs, from the solar plexus. All right, so keep the arms spreading wide. 
As you inhale, left fingertips tap the ground. As you exhale, dig through your right heel and rise up. Let's do it again, In inhale. Exhale, dig down and rise. So let's do a few more like that. Even if you feel shaky, see if you can remain certain through the shakiness. We'll do one more like that. Dig through the right heel, that's where your power is. Right arm goes down and up, inhale, crescent lunge. Twist to the right, exhale. Let's do it again, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to the right. Let's do one more like that, breath in. And exhale. Now as your right arm goes down and up, let's find one-legged staff. Pick the left knee up, stay steady, stable, certain through the shakiness. And on an exhale, vertical twist to the left, right arm forward. Inhale back to center reach. And then twist to the left. Go as slow as you need. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Let's go both feet down, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. All right, let's find a halfway lift and step back to plank. All right, from plank drop down to your forearms. You can always lower your knees down. You can always interlace the fingers. Step your feet a little wider apart, big breath. Exhale, heels to the right. Try to keep your forearms down. Big breath in. Exhale, switch it out, heels up and over to the left, hips lower, feet flexed. Big breath in, exhale, switch it out to the right. Inhale, hips lower, exhale, heels up and over. Let's do one more, inhale, exhale, up and over. One more time, inhale, exhale, up and over. Let's come back to center. Take a big breath in, exhale, belly down. Woo, nice job. So, you can stay here in Sphinx, or you might bring your palms a little wider and lift up for seal. Feel free to roll the head out wherever you're at. Ooh, that got me breathy. And lower down. Let's go ahead. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, inhale. As you exhale, press to plank. Pause for another breath. Downward facing dog. All right. Focus the eyes, soften the gaze. Take a slow inhale and exhale out. All right, bring your feet together. Lift the heels. Bend your knees, pull the hips back, take a peek where you're going. Healthy risk taking, see if you can jump. Top of the mat, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, right toes back and lunge. Here we are again, stretch the left arm open for your twist. <sighs> okay, just a couple breaths, feeling strong through your base, fluid through the pelvis. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, rise up. <sighs> Settle in. The thighs aren't knocking in. Feel the twist happen from the ribs. <sighs> All right, so you kind of have an idea where we're going. Stay certain and confident through the wobble. Arms stay wide. Inhale, right fingertips tap the ground. Exhale, dig down through your left heel and rise. Let's do it again, inhale, breath. Exhale, dig down and rise. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do two more. So move at your own pace. With a healthy solar plexus, we can march to the rhythm of our own drum. We don't have to be a crowd follower. We can own who we are even if it goes against societal norms. All right, left arm goes down and up, crescent lunge, inhale, 
twist to the left, X. Let's do it again, big breath. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale with confidence. One-legged staff, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Back to center, inhale. Twist to the right, X. One more like that, inhale, stand tall. Exhale, chair pose, inhale. Fold to the ground, X. All right, good work. Bring your feet together. Lift your heels up, bend your knees, come into a low crouch. So from here, we're going to sit back into Navasana, boat pose. And we're going to work with some Kabbala Bhati breath. So Kabbala Bhati breath, short pumps of the navel to build heat. Now, if you're pregnant, I wouldn't do this. And you just take a little bit of air inside your lungs, and then you force it out. It's almost like you're making that choo-choo sound. Now, you don't want to feel like you're hyperventilating. Like, if that's the case, there's too much air in the lungs. That forceful exhale, just a little bit of air, it allows the inhale to happen naturally. So you can have your boat like this, hands here. You can lift the feet up. You can have here, here, or here. Okay, we're gonna do three sets. Take a big breath in. Exhale all the way out. Quarter breath in, and we'll begin. Feel the navel pull back, back, back. Let it go. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, release the feet down. Place the palms behind you. And if this doesn't work for you, fingertips facing the hips, you can turn your fingertips out slightly. Reverse tabletop. Lift the hips. Soften the elbows. Bring the shoulder blades down. Lift the collarbones up. <sighs> Feel solid through the feet. Take a big breath in, exhale, lower down. We got a second set, however you want. Big breath in, exhale all the way out. Quarter breath in, maybe, and we'll begin. Full breath in, maybe lengthen. Exhale, second set, reverse table. Or you might move into reverse plank. Either way, elbow soft. And reverse plank, our goal is to get the feet flat on the ground. My ankles are pretty tight, so that doesn't happen. But I'm trying. Lift the hips, deep breath in. And exhale lower. We have a third and final set. You can keep the feet down. You can lift them up. Full inhale. Exhale all the way out. Quarter breath in. Let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse tabletop or reverse plank. You choose where you go. Elbows unlocked. 
collarbones lift as the shoulder blades draw down. Breathe here for three. Last two, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower down. Let's go ahead, widen up your base and just walk yourself forward, forward fold. Hmm. It's taking a moment to move into this introspective shape, just tuning in. Notice how this practice is shifting you, affecting you, changing you. And then just let everything go limp. Slowly roll up. From here, just swing your shins around. We're going to meet in a down dog. All right. So we're going to move through our flow twice. Everything should feel familiar. Remember, think about moving through this flow, how you want to move through the world, perhaps with confidence, strength, certainty, no matter the wobble, no matter the challenge, trusting yourself, owning who you are, how you move your body, how you show up in it. Take a big breath in and exhale out. Let's inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, big step through, lunge. Inhale, your right arm reaches high. Exhale, rise up and twist. One-legged staff, inhale, left knee lifts up. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Now as you inhale, bring your palms to touch in front of your left shoulder. Exhale, take a light step back. Healthy risk-taking, warrior two. Inhale, right leg lengthens. Exhale, reach forward and pivot the arms. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right arm forward. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, or not, you can skip them. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Left leg inhales up. Exhale, a light step through. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, rise and twist. One-legged staff. Inhale, right knee lifts. Stay certain. Twist to the right. Exhale. Inhale, palms touch in front of the right shoulder. Exhale, big step back, warrior two. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, or not. Again, you're owning your practice. Maybe you're like, I don't want a chaturanga. Fine. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You can just do you. Right leg inhales up. Exhale, big step through. Inhale, right arm opens. Exhale, rise and twist. One-legged staff. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale, light step back with confidence. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right arm forward. Reverse warrior, inhale. Chaturanga, or your way back to down dog. Take a big breath in. Forceful exhale. Left leg inhales, exhale, big step through. Left arm inhales open, exhale, rise and twist. One-legged stuff, inhale, twist to the right, exhale, stay certain. Inhale, palms touch, exhale, big step back. Inhale, left leg long, exhale, reach and pivot. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm forward. Reverse warrior. Inhale, chaturanga or not. Exhale. 
Let's come down to your knees. Bring your shins around. Come onto your back. You can bring your knees into your body if you like. Just rock a little side to side. And place your feet flat on the ground. All right, so from here, bring your palms down, shoulders out of the ears, back of the neck is long, lift up into bridge. Root through your big toe mounds and dig through your heels to turn on the hamstrings. Imagine there's a block between your inner thighs, squeeze the thighs together. Draw your tailbone between the heels. Now you can interlace your fingers behind the back. Maybe you shimmy your shoulder blades closer together. Come to the tops of the shoulder blades as opposed to bottom tips. It's creating a little stretch, a little opening for solar plexus. Again, we wanna create a balanced sense of heat and power there. Let's take another breath. Exhale, lower the pelvis down, and just let the knees knock into center. All right, so you can repeat that, or we're going to fit in one wheel pose. And then, if, so if you're going into bridge, just meet us there. Wheels, bring the palms by the ears, fingertips turn out ever so slightly. And let's try lifting the heels up to begin. So heels lifted. And if you need to drop the heels at first for balance, you can. Try to come to the top of your head. It's creating some space for low back. Draw the shoulder blades wide and then lift up. Pump your heart to the back of the mat. Just again, stretching, spreading, widening solar plexus. Big toe mounds on the ground. Breathe here for three. Final two. Take another breath. Exhale, tuck your chin. And lower down. <sighs> and knock the knees into center. Just take a moment to rest the hands on the solar plexus. Feel the sensitivity of the space. Feel the heat, the fire burning right in the navel chakra area. Feel your power emanating. Then open the arms wide, drop your knees to the left. If you want, you can place left foot on top of right thigh. Just get a release for hip flexor, IT band, and really flex your left foot so you can use it as a weight. Let's take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, untwist, tone your belly, and we'll switch sides, knees to the right, and maybe flex right foot, place it on top of your left thigh or knee. Big breath in, exhale, tone the belly to release. And then roll to one side and come up to sit. So feel free to sit on a block. We're gonna work with one more style of breath work to actually cool the system down. So this style of breath work is called shitali breath. It's really great like summertime pranayama breath work. I actually do it when I'm in classes where I feel like I'm overheating um, and it's really helpful. Now, I do just want to caution you that it's tempting to want to rush through the exhale, but try to stay calm, patient through the exhale. I find that when I rush through the exhale, I tend to get lightheaded. 
Now for the style of breath, we roll the tongue up, and I know not everyone can do this, so I'll um, let you know what you can do if that's the case. We roll the tongue up sort of like a straw, and then you breathe in through it. Close your mouth. Ujjayi exhale out of the nose. Again, try to keep that exhale really patient. You know, if you can't roll your tongue, you can breathe through the teeth. So that is an alternative. So we'll do this for about a minute, just to cool the system down. We'll do another twist and then we'll lay down for Shavasana. Okay, so I'd recommend doing this with your eyes closed. I just find it makes the um, pranayama experience more potent. You can find just that long, tall spine, shoulders over ears, over your hips. Draw the shoulders back, draw the ears back. Maybe lean back a little and feel your abdomen turn on. Allow the chin to lower ever so slightly. And we'll begin either between the teeth or through your tongue. Inhale. Through the nose, toned throat, ujjayi, exhale. No rush to the exhale. Let's do just three more. Just breathe normally, breathe naturally. Notice the effect of your breath work. And gently open the eyes. Come off of your block if you're on one. Extend your legs in front and bring your left ankle over the right thigh. You can stay here or bend the right knee, pull the heel in. Wrap your right elbow around the left knee, place the left fingertips behind you. Let's take a big breath in to lengthen. As you exhale, feel the ribs turn. And inhales encourage a sense of length. And exhales allow us some space to twist. And you don't have to force it, especially if there's any cramping sensations. It's definitely feedback that we've gone too far. Let's take another breath in, lengthen through the top of the head, and exhale and twist. And wind your legs, and we'll switch sides. Pull the right knee in. Place the right ankle over the thigh, and then you might bend your left knee as well. Wrap your left elbow around the right knee, both sit bones on the ground. Press through your right fingertips behind you, big breath. And as you exhale, remain long as you twist.
Let's take another inhale, lengthen, exhale to untwist, carefully release your top leg, and then extend your legs out in front of you. Have your heels slightly off of the mat. Reach your arms forward, and take about 20 seconds to lower back. Feel that. The more the shoulders pull back, the more the arms reach forward. Again, you're drawing your power center in. Feel that you're not falling onto the back. Rather, you're placing the spine down. And as you arrive, you might reach the arms high, point the toes, deep breath in. And exhale, allow yourself to lay back into Shavasana. Arms can be by your sides. And you can even place the hands on the solar plexus again. And just a few more times, you might work with the breath in this Bija mantra of Ram. Inhaling and exhaling, saying to yourself mentally, Ram. Every time you repeat that mantra to yourself, feel the solar plexus vibrate. And I'll bring you out in just a couple minutes. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just sigh it out. And start to rub your thumbs across the fingertips. Point and flex through your feet. Roll out the ankles and the wrists. Maybe stretch the arms above the head. And when you're ready, roll to one side. 
and just allow yourself to feel supported by the earth here. And just feel how strong you are physically, but also mentally, emotionally, energetically. Just noticing how the way we move our body, the way we support ourselves with positive body language and posture can affect how we feel, how we show up. With your eyes still closed, press up to a seat. And when you're ready, just collect the palms in front of the chest, lengthen the spine up and bow the chin in slightly. In this moment, feel what it's like to just really own who you are without any exceptions, no apologies, every aspect of yourself, every side of yourself, just owning it, claiming it, taking responsibility for it. This is true power, the kind of power that we can use to empower others and help them rise up. May the merits of our practice be of benefit to all beings everywhere. And to you I bow. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this class and will join me for the heart chakra coming up next. Uh, please like these videos if you enjoy them. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all the content we're releasing. And if you would like to leave a donation, my info is in the movie notes. Thank you so much. See you soon.